Greetings, 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 everyone. Steve, Pair Chords of Kindness. How are you doing today? Hopefully, your weaving's been happy. Okay, what I have for you today is something unique. And I think that's why I've gotten a lot of requests for this video. But what I'm going to do today is a shallow cut version, meaning it's going to be a shorter video with not all the tips and tricks and commentary that many of my videos are known for. But we're going to be, I'm going to show you how to do the morning sun bar modified in a two colors. This one right here is black and acid purple. It's a rather nice bracelet. It's similar to a trilobite except for this little middle section. And I'll show you. It's not very wide. Like I say, it's very similar to a trilobite. Or it's not very thick, I should say. Very similar to a trilobite. Now this one is black and colonial blue. But if you want to see how I make this morning sun bar modified in two colors, stick around because I'll get right to it, folks. Okay, folks, I'm partially set up. I'll get to the full setup in just a moment. Uh, let's see, where are we going to start? Shameless plug. Stitched Modified Sonic Armor. There will be a link to my tutorial in the cards and in the description. And this is a stitched modified side step. Also in the cards and the description. Okay, now with that said, this bracelet right here. I'll give you some background on this. Um, I've had quite... When I posted pictures of this on social media, I had quite a few people ask me how to do this. So I got to give credit where credit's due, but it, it there's it's not just one person, if you will. Okay, let's start off with this. Um, I come across a very short video on Instagram by Cord Braid. I'll have a link to that specific video in the description below. And he's doing it on a two-strand cord. Uh, looks like potentially a knot and loop. Because his core strands, the two core strands are different colors than his weaving strands. And, I, and he shows you, he's already done most of the bracelet and he just shows you a couple of, you know, weaves. I'm like, okay, I bet you I can find a YouTube video for it. And I found one. Weavers of Eternity had one. Well, he did it the way it was originally designed by Cetus. Um, and it's one color. And I, I, I looked at both those videos and I'm like, okay, I can figure this out. Well, I'll say this. Cord braid, he did it, he had it in two. And in the comments, he tagged Cetus, and Cetus basically says that this is no longer my weave. You have modified it by adding two colors. So, you know, jot it down as your weave. Just note that, you know, modified, what you know, two colors and all that. So, there we go. But, uh, I'll leave it, it let's see. It, it, you can also find, let's see, a pictorial for the original design. The Morning Sun Bar on Cetus Weaving on Instagram. It also can be found for anybody who has his books, Live Paracord Volume 1, and it's on page 106. That's the original one color, right? And I assume that the reason everybody asked me about this is they went to look for a tutorial and they couldn't find one on how to do it in two colors, right? So... I made a very brief video for someone, and they, they thanked me, tagged me in a post, and the next thing I know, I have a whole bunch of people asking me about this. So, I figured, let's just make a video. But, like I said, I wanted to give credit where credit's due. The original design was by Cetus550. Most of us know who he is. Um, but it was modified by Cord Braid on Instagram. And I just 
you know, watched all of this and figured it out. Okay, now, with all that said, let's see, what's next? It's done on a four-string core. Obviously, you can see this. And being that it's in two colors here, let me zoom in so you can see, perhaps, hopefully, see a little bit better what I'm talking about. I put this piece of paper behind there, so hopefully it'll it'll help you be able to see. Not sure if it's going to, but y'all let me know in the comments if this is better than my other videos. I've been thinking about changing this background to, you know, something more, you know, like a white color. But anyway, being that this is two a two-color bracelet, normally, let me say this too. Normally, or originally, this bracelet is meant to be done with one working end. And it would be an offset working in, meaning all the slack or excess is on one side, and you just have a nub on the other side that basically gets tucked behind or cut and burned or however you, you do it. But being that this one is two, you have to have two working ends of each color. Okay? Um, and being that you meld them together, the way I've done this is I've just put the meld point right here. Now, I'll go ahead and say this. He, listen to this one very carefully. Most of the time when you set up a four-string cord, you basically find the center of the cord, and, you, you know, you start with your cow hitch, come down, double cow hitch, go up, whatever. So both working ends are of the same equal length. This one is not that way. One needs to be longer than the other, right? So when you set up your core strands, the way I've done it, and the measurements that I'm going to have in the description are going to work for this. If you set it up different, your measurements will be different. Makes sense? But the way I've done this is I just put this mail. You can do the Manny method, or you can just melt the two ends together, however, you know, whichever method you prefer. But I put the mail right here below. This is the way I most often do it, right below the top right knot, right? Right? Okay. And with that said, you set up, like I said, that's, you, you don't center the cord, you, you, you align it so that that meld is right there. According to the measurements that are in the description. If you don't do it this way, your measurements are going to be wrong, potentially will have way too much, or not enough, or whatever. <coughs> but anyway, with all that said, okay. If you don't know how to set up a full strand core, I've got I've got a playlist. It, the, the link to the playlist will be in the description. But there's a, there's a few videos in there. There's um let's say uh four strand course how to set up a four strand course shallow cut and it's it's basically over here under there showing you the basic mechanics of how to do this. But I've also got one because this kind of falls into the line of the of of, of offset working in. One is, uh, how to set up a four strand core with an offset working in. Right? Like I said, all the excess is on one side and another. So this is kind of that, kind of that way. But anyway, with all that said, let's just show, show you this. Uh, for those who don't know, if you already know how to do, you know, a four strand core, I'll just show you. I always mention the little knots I put at the top because I do my, core setups different than most of the videos I see on YouTube. So, I'm going to just throw this one out there. What I'll do, once I get it set up or whatever, right before I, you know, get everything kind of adjusted and all that, I'll take out working end. And what I'll do is I'll come back across that cord. You know, on, on its respective side. Same thing over here. But I'm just showing you on this one. Just go over the top of it. And then go th under that core strand and through this loop right here. And then you just pull it up. And once you get it up there to the top, you pull on this and you can kind of roll your finger across this little knot. And it'll t cause it to tighten up on there. And that's what will hold it secure it, the way I do this. That's what will hold that secure so you can tighten your jig up. And it'll keep this from slipping back through. So you can have your tight core stress neat, clean, and tight, right? Okay.
Now, with all that said, um, now this wave, I'll go ahead and sh- I'll go ahead and say this. Um, this wave is it's one of these I've heard I I hear people use different terms: fickle knot, fiddly knot. You know, may I say you got to manhandle this one to get it to do right. It's not the mechanics; the overs and the unders are not hard at all. But the way this thing's woven together, it it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to do right. Now, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's one. You see how it looks like it's twi- it's, it's kind of twisted like? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show you the other one. It's, it's twisted even more. You see? It's just the nature of the way this 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 side of the bracelet is woven. I, when I first did this, I started weaving it, and I was like, why is it sitting funny? It just doesn't want to. And when I took it off the jig, and I laid that bracelet down, it kind of went, and I'm like, yo, there we go. That's the issue. So this one, I'm going to be honest. It's it's to get it to, to be straight, like all these edges even, and everything to look right, it's... You gotta work with it. Does that make sense? I, we've all known knots like that. Some of these weaves over here under there, you pull it and everything falls into place, no problem. You do, you just repeat the process all the way down. Then there are some when you do, you gotta work them and fiddle and fiddle with them to get them to look right. Well, this is one of those that you potentially you may have to fiddle with. Okay. So with all that said, I'll show you how this is. Like uh, right here, the three core strands on this side are one color, and we got this other color, and then the little knot, right? So three core strands in this darker, what is this? Stealth olive and charcoal gray, right? And I'm not making this for any one wrist. I'm just, these are some scrap pieces to show. But when you get it, you get your little knot, you get it set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to have to set up like, like I've mentioned in some of my past videos, you set up your core strands. Then you have to orientate your cords to begin the weave. And this is one where you have to orientate your cords, get them all in the right place and everything. Then you can actually start the pattern. Right? Okay. Well, to orientate this, first thing that I did, <laughs> this is the way I did this, is take both cords. Now, I've already got some fids on the end just to... It makes it easier to see, I think, on camera. Excuse me. But you just come up through the middle. You go around the back of the bracelet, and you just come up through the middle. Right? And you do that with both of them. Kind of pull it, push it up to the top, pull it, sit that one off to the side, and you're going to do the same thing with the other side. That's what you're doing is you get both your cords in the middle of the bracelet. So we're going to go under these two right here and up through this middle. I'm going to pull a slight through. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to get them so they're sitting side by side. You don't want one on top of the other. You know what I'm saying? Like this, you want them right next to each other. Best you can. I mean, it, 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 it'll it it'll work itself out once you actually start waving. But we're just doing this to get it set up. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and get it all out of the way. Okay. Um. Now, this side over here. What we're going to do is we're going to do this one knot. We're going to basically, we're going to take our, we're going to take our working end, maintaining this, it's a bite, maintaining this loop, if you will. We're going to go down, th- back down through those middle core strands. And this loop, this formed right here, you're going to take your working in and go through there. We say that. And then you're just going to push to the top, pull it over. And that's going to form your first knot. And the way I was doing it, is kind of rolling my thumb, this little middle piece, rolling my thumb from the top down toward me to get out some of that excess. As I'm pulled this way. Does that make sense? Right. And that's going to form this little 
kind of a ridge. And I'm going to tell you, this bracelet, you, you think it's going to be a thick one, but it didn't turn out very thick. It's basically like a trilobite with just like this slightly different middle section. But you, some of the pictures, some of the videos, it looks like a ridge. And I guess if you did it a certain way, it would be. But this little, that's what we just did. This little first piece, right? Okay, now that we got that one up, set up, we can actually start. Now we have our cords orientated, so to speak. So what we're going to do, this is the way I've been doing. Take this other one and pull it up. And kind of put that other one, just kind of let it sit down in the middle, in that in that slot. Just kind of let it sit right there in that slot. And then take take the other piece. And what we're going to do... Make sure I'm going to do this right. Yeah. The other one. We're going to go around and up under and back up through here. All right. Coming around. All, all of my excess. We're just going to wrap around these two outer core strands and go underneath them and come up through this slot. We're always going to be dealing with this middle slot. Go ahead and tell you that. So you pull major majority of your slack and pretty much it's the same knot every time. All right? This little loop, we're gonna go back through that loop. Now right here, when you get right here and you go to tighten this thing up, this is the way I did it. When you go to tighten this thing up, take this cord and pull it this direction over here. That way it it lines up. You don't want it coming out over here. You want it coming out right here at the top. Right above this other, this gray piece. Right? Kind of push it up. <clears throat> I'm, I apologize. If y'all could hear that, that was my stomach growling. It's breakfast time here at the Pericords of Kindness house. But once you get that done, we do the same thing. We take this one. Let me get this out of the way. We take this one. And we do the same thing again. We go down through this middle slot. Up under these two. And then we go back through this loop. And we pull everything through. Again, kind of push it up to the top. Now, this fir these first two, they're not going to want to sit right, just like any any of these bracelets. We know this; they're not going to want to sit right. And I say this too: every one of these I've made, I've show I'll show you. You see how there's like a little. I don't know if you can see that on the camera well, very well or not. But you can see through the top. And these these two little middle angled pieces, they don't want to seat all the way up. There's a little gap right up there on both of them. And it, it's here on this one. So it's you're not doing anything wrong. That's just the way this thing sits. It's, you can't get it up. You can't get it up there right to... Fill in those gaps, so it's going to be there. Okay, now that we got that, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this one. I kind of move it over to this side, and we're going to take this gray one and get it up out of that little groove in the middle, right? And now, if you want, you can sit that gray one down in there, or the green, the, the, the dark colored one down in there, and we're going to take our gray one. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go around and under those two core strings and come back up to the middle. And that loop, you're going to go back through that loop. And when you go to push it up to the top and you go to tighten it up, remember, pull this one toward that direction. Don't pull it like this because we want it to sit over here like that. Always being mindful of your twist. We say that. And push it up. 
Now again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take it. We're going to go down through that middle slot and up under over the top and through that loop we just formed. Push it up. I apologize, folks. We see that. Um, you can kind of see the ridge starting. And we just take this one and kind of move it out of the way. And bring this one up. And you can sit that gray one back down. Kind of in that, in that little slot right there. And then take this other one. And do it again. You go underneath those two strands. And a loop that you're forming. You're going to go back through that loop. That's going under through this loop. And you just pull your slide out. Once you get it up there to the top, again, you pull it and you pull it this way. That way this cord is, is in toward the middle coming out because we're going to come this direction with it. Now, we come over the top of it, over the top of the gray one, forming this little angled ridge piece, if you will, and you go back down the middle. Underneath these two core strands. And then we go back through the loop. You see how it's the same, it's the same thing over and over and over. You just gotta make sure you're doing the colors right and getting your cords orientated in the right position. But it's the same basic knot over and over and over. And you push it up, kind of roll your thumb across that little piece right there. And I'm always, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm a stickler for these these wraparounds on the edge. I don't want one sticking way out and the next one being pulled. It's because this one you didn't, like the first one, the gray one, you didn't pull it real tight. But then the green one, you pull it real tight. So what you have is one sticking way out, one in. Like a heart monitor, right? I'm a stickler for that. I try tension consistency. You don't have to pull it tight. You don't have to pull it loose. Just pull it the same amount every single time and they'll be straight. This one, for whatever reason, I, you know, maybe, maybe y'all will be better at this one. This one is on my naughty list because I can't get these over here to sit right and to be even. It's like I like them. But, you know. Practice, practice, practice. All right now, again, we just move that one down out of the way, and we bring up the other color to bear. All right, that, that's all there is to this. And you come up through the middle, underneath here, up through the middle, and we form that loop. And we go through that loop, and when we pull it, and we get it up there to the top. We just kind of pull it to that side, and it lines it up. And then we go over the top, forming a little angled ridge piece. We go back down through the middle, underneath these two, and through this loop. That, and that's it. That's all there is to it. And you work it out to the end. But hopefully you can see here, let's zoom in a little bit, and you can see the pattern form. And, uh... <coughs> See what I'm saying? The pattern starts to form. But you see, this is just me. We see how this gray one right here looks like it's sticking out just a little bit more than the green one above it and below it. That's what I'm talking about. Now, it's not that much, but it's, I notice it. And I don't like that. I want my work to not be like that. But, you know, it just comes with practice. But there you go. That's all there is to this one. Like I said, it's not that hard. It took me a minute watching, watching this short video where he's, he's about this far into it and he starts doing it. And I'm like, okay, how did he, how did he start? How did he get it orientated? You know, I know how to set up a core strand, but it's the orientation of the cords to begin the weave. And then I watched Weavers of Eternity and he's doing it in one color. So. All I did was saw the over and unders. I didn't see the orientation. So I just basically had to figure it out. Now, 
This is what I come up with. Maybe you got a better method, but that's the basics of it right there. Um, the morning sun bar modified for two colors. Hopefully this helped. Um, like I said, I had a lot of people ask me about this. Hopefully this helped. Um, but give us a like, give us a, you know, subscribe to the channel, check out our other videos. Um, but I'll, I'll end it with that. It, I'll, it, like I end all these videos. Keep it neat, keep it clean, and keep it tight. Happy weekend, folks.